In this video, I'll show you how to create three popular transitions in After Effects. Number one is the whip pan transition. For this, we need the video clips. I've already added mine to the timeline. Then go up to Layer, New Adjustment Layer. Then right click it, go to Time, Time Stretch, and set New Duration to be 10 frames by typing 10, then click OK. Now I move the adjustment layer to the middle of the cut so it extends evenly on both sides of it. Then open Effects and Presets window, search for Offset, add it to the adjustment layer, then search for Fast Box Blur, and also add it to the adjustment layer. Now I move the playhead to the start of the adjustment layer, then in Effect Controls, create a keyframe for Shift Center 2 by clicking on the stopwatch icon, and for Blur Radius as well. Now press U on the keyboard to see the keyframes on the timeline. Now we're going to move the playhead to the end of the adjustment layer and one frame back so that we can see the effect. And based on the direction that you want the transition to move towards, you're going to adjust either X or Y value. I want the transition to be horizontal where it moves to the right. For this, I'm going to decrease the first X position value. And as I do that, you can see that we're just cycling through the same frame. And we need to do one full cycle. So let's do that. And once you approach the point where the image is back into frame, make sure you precisely adjust this value. So for the full HD resolution, it should be negative 960. That puts it back into frame without any gaps. Then make sure you add the keyframe for blur radius as well by clicking on this icon. Now drag and select both keyframes and move them one frame forward to the exact end of the adjustment layer. Then move the playhead to the point of the cut between the videos and back in effect controls under fast box blur, we're going to expand blur dimensions and select the dimensions based on the movement that we created in the offset. In my example, that is the horizontal. So I'm going to select that and then increase the blur radius as you see fit. I'm going to set mine to 50. Then drag and select all of the keyframes, right click any of them, keyframe assistant, easy ease, or you can use F9 as the shortcut to easy ease the keyframes. Then go into the graph editor by clicking here, right click and make sure you select edit speed graph then click on shift center 2 to isolate that property then we're going to drag and select the first yellow handle to the right until influence is about 80 percent then drag the second yellow handle to the left until influence is again at 80 percent then exit the graph editor and this gives us a nice whip pan transition number two is the zoom transition for this we once again need the video clips and the adjustment layer so let's go up to layer new adjustment layer right click it time time stretch type it 10 click ok and move it to the middle of the cut. Then back in effects and presets, search for transform and add transform to the adjustment layer. Now move the playhead to the start of the adjustment layer. In effect controls, create a keyframe for scale by clicking on the stopwatch icon. Then press U on a keyboard to see the property on the timeline. Move the playhead to the point of the cut, set scale to 300 to zoom into the image. Then go to the end of the adjustment layer and set scale to 100. Then in effect controls, uncheck use composition shutter angle and increase it manually to add motion blur to the transition. Then drag and select all the keyframes, right click any of them, keyframe assistant, easy ease, then go into the graph editor by clicking here, select any of the points, drag the first yellow handle to the right all the way, then the second one also to the right all the way, third one left all the way, and the fourth one all the way to the left. So this is the graph that we created. Then exit the graph editor, and this will give us a nice zoom transition. And number three is the glitch transition. Once again, let's create the adjustment layer by going up to layer, new adjustment layer, right click, time, time stretch, 10 frames, click OK, move it to the middle of the cut. Then in effects and presets, we're going to search for VR digital glitch, add it to the adjustment layer, then move the playhead to the start of the adjustment layer. And then in effect controls, we're going to expand distortion and increase the color distortion to 100. Then we're going to create a keyframe for random seed by clicking on a stopwatch icon, then go to the end of the adjustment layer and set the value to 100. This will animate the noise throughout the adjustment layer. Now we're going to select the VR digital glitch and duplicate it four times by pressing Ctrl D as the shortcut. One, two, three, four. So here we have five digital glitches in total and those will amplify the whole glitch effect as you can see. Then back in effects and presets, we're going to search for directional blur, add it to the adjustment layer, then set direction to 90 degrees and increase the blur length to 10 to add slight blur to glitch effect. And then we're going to search for wiggle position, add it to the adjustment layer, then set wiggle speed to 50, leave wiggle amount at 50, uncheck use composition shutter angle and increase it slightly to maybe 10 to add even more motion blur to the transition. And this adds the shake effect. Now, because we have the shake effect, this will introduce the black borders around the frame. So we're going to hide that by adding another transform, search for it in effects and presets, Add it to the adjustment layer. And then for the transform that we added at the end, we're going to increase scale to 120 to hide any black borders that might appear because of the shake effect. And once we play this back, we have a nice glitch transition.